Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source. So call me crazy, but I'm a Firefox girl. And 32.8% of you interneters agree with me, so today I'm going to show you my top five add-ons for my favorite browser, starting now. And I'm hugging myself. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Brought to you by Audible. Number five, down the mall. If you're like me, you tend to download all the things, so it gets really annoying when you press that download button on your browser and the window just kind of disappears behind all the other windows, or worse, there's no progress bar at all. Down the Mall is a download manager for Firefox. It allows users to pause and resume downloads, accelerate downloads by creating multiple parallel connections, and customize how you download through options such as limiting speed and adding mirrors to the download. You can filter what type of files you want to download and get everything on a website with a single click, a must-have for people who want more than the rudimentary download options that come with Firefox. Number four, Grease Monkey. So enough of the semi-typical add-ons, let's get a little more intense here. For the tinkerers among us, we have Grease Monkey. With it, you can use JavaScript to customize the way web pages load and function. You can make changes, fixes, add new features, among other things. Grease Monkey scripts are able to access external websites, combining data or features together. People can write their own scripts, but those who aren't code monkeys can choose from hundreds of scripts available online written by other users. Number three, Firebug. Speaking of which, his code not functional or elegant. What does Code Monkey think? Code Monkey likes Firebug. Anyone? Anyone? Firebug is the Firefox extension for web devs. It allows you to view, edit, log, and troubleshoot HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and just about anything that makes up a web page. While Firebug does provide a large number of web development tools, it's not a what you see is what you get editor. It does let you see a wealth of information about a website and edit it on the fly, helping you to find errors, but it's not a substitute for a full-fledged web development application. Used to supplement such an editor, it makes a web developer's life a lot easier. Number two, Adblock. It's estimated that the average person is subjected to 5,000 ads per day. Now, I know I have advertisements on my channel, but I'd be a bad person if I didn't recommend this extension. Adblock Plus makes surfing the web both safer and less bothersome by blocking advertisements. You can subscribe to various filters to block ads, known malware sites, images, and Java and Flash plugins. There's lots of other ways to customize what you see and don't see, and the latest versions of Adblock Plus even add an option to allow unobtrusive advertising to be seen. Hopefully this encourages advertisers to create less annoying ads and still allow people to receive ad revenue. <laughs> Number one, NoScript. This is my absolute unquestionable first pick. The NoScript add-on lets you block JavaScript and Flash, as well as preventing clickjacking attempts, so you can find out what your Honey Boo Boo nickname is and not have evil things downloading without your knowledge. NoScript users can whitelist sites, selectively enabling plugins to run on those sites. This is useful to make Firefox much safer than it might otherwise be. Most people familiar with the internet these days know how to not download and run attachments from unknown senders or enter their personal information in strange email requests. So most of the malware that gets installed on PCs comes from scripts and plugins run from infected sites. With no script, you all but completely prevent this from happening. Yes, that means you can feel a little bit more secure in going to the sites that you don't want to admit that you go to. What's your favorite Firefox add-on? Let me know in a comment below and I will keep it in mind for future videos. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of That Clock Likes to Do Its Thing. Open source. Yeah. Subscribe now, thanks.
it's time to pay my bills. This past summer has got me all hyped up for fantastical reading, like LOTR. One audiobook to rule them all, or choose from one of a hundred thousand other titles from Audible's website. And all you have to do for a free audiobook download of your choice is go to audiblepodcast.com slash I bet you will find something precious. 